How you doing everyone? It's Kevin back with another video. We're getting ready to build the garage doors over here at the Rusty Rooster Homestead. Uh, we're going to do a barn style set of bar, uh, garage doors and I have, I needed a tool. Well, I had a 12 inch chop saw that I use for metal all the time and I actually bought it at a yard sale for just a few dollars. And uh, I'm having a very hard time finding the, the blades in my area, the, the 12 inch metal uh, blade wheels so I stopped at Harbor Freight and picked up a new chop saw we've been wanting one for years and I got one now this is not a tool that I use a whole lot but like you guys seen in the uh, log arch video I used a chop saw for pretty much that whole project and we're going to be using a chop saw on these garage doors that's what we're going to use to cut all of our angle iron because we want 45 degree angles and these things cut really nice 45s. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this uh, Harbor Freight uh, chop saw and we'll get it out of the box and we'll do kind of a review on it. I'll do some cutting and I'll show you that. We're also going to kind of mix this in with another video. We're going to do a video on making the garage doors. I think you guys will like that too if you like the chop saw. So, let's get to opening up this box. <clears throat> Look what's on the top, the owner's manual. Remember, we don't really need this unless we run into problems. Or unless you're a girl now, she'll go over that. They're smarter than us guys. This thing is definitely box good. Pretty heavy too. <clears throat> Looks like a beast. A lot bigger than the 12 inch one that we've had for years. I think this saw is gonna come in handy. All right, this has a 15 amp, 4.3 horsepower motor on it. That seems like it's gonna have an awful lot of power. So it sounds pretty good. Now right here on the back of the um, machine here, you have a little knob, just pull it out and that'll release the blade. Uh, one really nice thing about this tool is it also has a five inch we can put five inch metal in this. And I kind of like the quick release on the handle here. All you have to do is pull up on that, slide this guy out, and then you, once you get your metal in there, slide it back up against your metal, just flap that thing back down, and then tighten it up against your metal. It's kind of a quick release for that. Now you can lift it up, shove it all the way back in. Five inch, width in there that's pretty nice I think my other one would be lucky to do four now when adjusting your angle on the on this piece here which you would unlock this slide this out and in the right in the housing itself it has the allen key that you're going to need to break this bolt back here loose you're going to want to break this bolt loose if you want to cut say a 45 you're going to, want to break out one loose what you do is you break it loose then you're able to spin this to your 45 mark it has a mark right in the center here and then you will tighten this back down and you're ready to cut 45 degree angles on your metal which is pretty cool that's one of the main reasons I like using this and then you can just set it back to zero that's 90 degrees tighten it back down and you're good to go to cut flat metal you know just straight off which is nice I do like the little holder for the allen key it seems like every time you get going and you misplace this guy and it's really nice just to have that thing shoved right in the back goes right in that hole right there nice another nice feature that this tool has that mine does not is it has a depth stop uh, you can adjust this 
for the depth that you want to cut. Say you only want to cut a quarter of an inch down in the piece of metal. You would adjust this and it will stop at your quarter of an inch. See, you adjust this piece up and it will give you your adjustment on how deep you want to cut, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. Another thing that this machine has that uh, mine does not, it is, has this button right here. And what that does, when you're ready, you, you want to change your blade, you're going to grab your little Allen wrench, going to stick it on the end. After you put your Allen key in there, you push this over and twist it until it locks. Okay, now that's locked in. You're able to grab your Allen key and break your blade loose now. That's a pretty nice feature on there. I like that. So it's locked in. We can break that blade loose and take it off, put another one on pretty quick. I do like the guard too. It's got a big old guard on here. It's gonna keep a lot of the sparks down from hitting you. That's gonna be pretty nice. So we're going to, enough of the saw. We're gonna go ahead uh, and we're gonna use this thing a little bit and then we'll let you know how it feels and how it runs, what kind of power it's got. We'll be doing that tomorrow, so we'll keep some, some of that on our video. It does have a lock on it too. All you do is reach in the back and push that button where we started, we opened it up. And it's locked up and get ready. It's good to put away now. Okay, we're ready to do our first cut with the machine. We'll see how this bad boy's gonna work. I didn't even turn the trigger on. Let's turn the trigger on. Sounds good. So we're gonna give it a try and see how she works. down on that pretty hard and it didn't dog that motor down. Now my other one that I had um, when you push it down it would actually stop the motor. This motor didn't stop so that's a good thing. So far I like it. see the saw worked out pretty good we got the doors built uh, I honestly think that this saw is going to work perfectly fine for me I don't need no $600 uh, saw uh, like I said this one was from Harbor Freight uh, $169 I think and I think it's going to be perfectly fine for what I want to use it for 
No issues with it. Uh, there was one more thing that I did like about it. I'll show you that. Right here on the bottom, this is for sparks. And my other saw didn't have this on here and the sparks would shoot up and just burn into the wall or whatever was there. With this little chute here, it actually shoots the sparks down onto the ground. And you can move this thing uh, however, whatever direction you want it. But I like it shooting down on the ground, which was pretty nice. This is a, something I've never seen before. And you've probably seen it in the video when we're cutting. The sparks are not just flying straight out the back across the room. That was pretty cool. I like that. So I would say if you're in the market for a chop saw and you don't want to buy something really expensive, I think I would go with this model. I mean, I'll go use it for a year, but you know, I may not use it but two or three times in a whole year. So, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to do a review after a year if you don't use it all year long. But I'll do my best to let you know how it's going. And if I ever have any issues with it, I'll be sure to post it uh, on my YouTube channel so you all will know. But as of right now, this thing has worked out actually perfect for me. It does a really good 45 degree angle, and you can turn this one in 45 degree either way. So it's, um, my other one wouldn't do that. This one will. So that's another nice thing. You can go 45 this way, or you can turn it 45 all the way back the other way. Good saw. I think it's gonna be a great saw. So I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.